this time we will talk about an amazing story that confirms some of the kind people among us who are willing to help others even in very difficult or dangerous situations. It happened in the Brazilian jungle on the Amazon River. When soldiers of the Brazilian armed forces saw a jaguar cub while floating on the river. Since it was the tropical rainy season, the Amazon River was deeper at this time, which was the reason the baby jaguar was in danger. Others might have thought that even though this was a baby jaguar, it was a dangerous beast and predator, but the Brazilian soldiers decided to try to rescue the jaguar cub. The jaguar was injured, but if it weren't for the soldiers, it would have been dying on the river. The jaguar immediately realized that they were trying to save it. So it did not resist the Brazilian army soldiers' rescue operation. The soldiers risked their lives to rescue the baby jaguar and brought it on board. At first, they tried to get it back into the jungle, but the baby jaguar was injured and very tired. Hunters were known to operate in forests all over Brazil, so it would have been very dangerous for them to just leave the poor jaguar alone. The soldiers decided to take the jaguar to their camp. Surprisingly, the soldiers were allowed to adopt the jaguar cub, accepting it as a service dog for the armed forces. Now that the jaguar is an adult, it is very strong. It has not forgotten his rescuers and the jaguar is very fond of those soldiers. It still lives in the army and keeps the troops safe from enemy attacks. This jaguar is known as Gigi Tia. Today Gigi Tia is an adult and even though it may be dangerous, it is still a very kind and loving beast. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel where you will find many interesting stories. Animals are naturally curious but sometimes this curiosity can get them into danger. Fortunately, for most animals, they have an instinct for self-preservation. They are very cautious, but even wild animals can be driven by curiosity into awkward situations. The story we're going to tell today may be interesting until the truth of the matter becomes clear. We'll start the story from the beginning. This incident happened in a province in northwest India, where people were close to nature and encountering wild animals was a common but scary thing. Wild animals often appeared around people in search of food, and they were easily attracted to some predatory animals, such as the large number of stray dogs. This time, however, the beast almost became the prey of a pack of stray dogs. Early in the morning, a local resident heard the barking of a local stray dog. This was a common thing. Dogs often barked at passing trains or cars. However, this time the barking did not calm down, but rather intensified. The man decided to go outside to see what was going on. He went outside and saw a group of dogs barking at something in the distance. The man grabbed a stick just in case, and then walked closer to see what was getting the dog's attention. As he approached, he saw a leopard, a predator that was acting rather strangely and was clearly disoriented. As he got a little closer, the man laughed out loud, and he laughed so loudly that the others were curious about what was so funny. But when they saw it with their own eyes, they laughed too. The leopard was in trouble, with a metal can stuck on its head, looking very funny. Upon further confirmation, it appeared that the poor animal had been trapped for some time and now it was exhausted from disorientation, hunger, and thirst. When the dogs barked, the leopard dashed back and forth, frightened and unsure of where to go. After a good laugh, the people decided to try to help the animal get its head out of the jar. They called in a local hunter, an elderly man who knew what to do. The older hunter came with lamp oil and rope. After he tied the leopard's paws, he then gently applied the oil around the jar and quickly removed the jar from the leopard's head. The leopard growled a bit, but usually acted calm. It was finally free to breathe. Now it lied panting, looking at its rescuer. The hunter poured some water into a bowl and then used a stick to push the bowl towards the leopard. 
The leopard quickly drank it all and now the hardest thing to explain was why the leopard stopped there. But this experienced hunter didn't know either. After a while, the leopard stood up. As if looking gratefully at its rescuer, and slowly walked towards the forest. The story could have ended there if people had not revealed the incident. The hunter was very curious as to how this happened. And he found it strange that a very cautious wild animal would put its head in the jar by itself. Interestingly, he found a piece of fresh meat in the bottom of the jar. People never put meat in a jar like this, so who did it? The answer was soon revealed. It turned out that there was a man in the village who was cruel to animals, and he was often caught for poaching, so this behavior was perfectly logical. For a long time, he had been feeding this leopard with raw meat. He put large pieces of meat in the leopard's habitat and then put the meat in a jar. Because he knew the leopard would put its head in to access the meat in the jar and then made it impossible for it to pull its head out. During this time, he watched the suffering animal. A situation that brought him real joy. Until one day, he saw a leopard that came into the village where he was attacked by dogs. The people who learned the truth of what happened were ashamed because they had laughed at the poor animal. This time it was not just with curiosity about the leopard, but with sympathy for the unfortunate beast who had suffered a deliberate prank. Wild animals sometimes harm local residents and attack their livestock, but they are driven by hunger and survival instincts. But what made this man so cruel? Maybe it's a mental illness that we don't know about. But hearing stories like this sometimes makes you wonder if wild animals are really so terrible compared to humans. Friends, what are your thoughts on this? Share your thoughts in the comments.